is Grace, and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is God's Big Promise. Abraham is called by God. Let's read. Abraham lived in Haran. Abraham, God said, I want you to live Haran and go to another land. God didn't tell Abraham where that was. Trust me, God said. So Abraham lived in Haran. And one day God called Abraham that to live Haran. And he also didn't tell him that where to go. Do this, God said, and your children will become a great nation. How? Abraham wondered. His wife Sarah was too old to have children. Trust me, God said. So Abraham didn't have any children. And God told Abraham that Abraham will have a great nation. And he wondered how because her wife Sarah was too old to have a baby. Question: Did God tell Abraham where he was to where he was to go? No, God didn't tell Abraham. God, go where I tell you, God said, and you will have a more distance than their stars in the sky. They will bless the whole world, trust me. So, God told God told Abraham that you will have more distance than the star and go where I tell you. So Abraham trusts God. He took Sarah, his nephew, Lot, and everything they wanted. He won where God told him to go. He won to. Uh, he went to the land of Canaan. So Abraham trusts God and believed God, and he took Sarah and his nephew and all everything they owned. And they went to where God told them to go. <laughs> Christian, God said Abraham would have more distance and they are number one, the cows, number two, maybe the coconut trees, and number three, the stars. Number three was the correct answer. When he arrived, Abraham camped at Shechem. God up prayed to him, I will give this land to you and your children. God said, Abraham built an altar to God there. So they arrived and God told them that I will give this land to your child, you and your child, you and your children. And Abraham built an altar there.
That rarely hurts. Abraham tra traveled around God's promised land. He was glad that he had trust in God. He built an altar, uh, another altar, to say thank you to God for all he had been promised. So Abraham traveled around the God's promised land and he was so proud that he trusted God and he was so happy and thankful to God so he built another altar in the that uh, that God for all he had been promised Abraham built an altar to God to say thanks you uh, thank you thank you for all he had been promised. True. We should also obey God and trust God. Oh, there's an activity. Let's see. A uh, color the story. Um, did I? Um, uh, let's see. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. The mountains. Oh, there's Sarah. Actually, Sarah was kept making a suit. Like. She's making soup there, and also in the next page. And she's also making a soup, and um, she's again making a soup. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I read the Bible story. Did it enjoy the next time I'll read another good story? Story and we should always pray to God and trust and obey God. Then let's see you next time. I'll read another good story next time. Then let's see you next time. Bye!